Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll explore how to profile Python code with C profile module. Today programmers write thousands of lines of code in a matter of days. The complexity of new programs and applications evolves constantly and the code bases include multiple functions, some of which can slow down the performance of the entire program. Focusing on code profiling and specifically profiling your Python code to identify bottlenecks in the performance can significantly increase the performance of the software as well as create a better user experience. In this tutorial, we will work with Python built-in C profile module, which provides deterministic profiling of Python programs. So what is code profiling? So what is code profiling? Code profiling is the process of analyzing the performance of programs, specifically analyzing performance of the code to identify potential bottlenecks. Identifying which part of code runs slow and then optimizing this code can significantly improve performance of the software, decrease memory usage, and resource consumption. In Python, C profile profiling tool allows to track the execution time and memory usage of your Python scripts, helping identify slow performing and high resource consuming parts of the code. Let's take a look at a quick example of profiling with C profile and interpretation of the output. We'll start by importing the required dependency. Now we'll run code profiling for some sample Python code. Here we'll run code profiling for a simple Python script that just prints Python. Now let's run the code and see what we get. Now let's interpret the output. Let's start with the columns of what we're seeing here in the table. 10 calls is the number of calls made to a particular function. Pod time is the total time spent in a given function. Per call, is the ratio of thought time to end calls. Cum time is the cumulative time spent in the current function and subfunctions. Per call is the ratio of cum time to primitive calls. And file name, which is the data of each function. Now that we know what the columns represent, let's look at the rows. The first row shows string all in one module. And here this corresponds to the execution of the code passed as a string to cprofile.run. So in our case, we're passing in a string and inside of that string, there is a function that does print Python. The next line has the built-in method exec, and this represents the time spent in the exec built-in function, which is used to dynamically execute Python programs, which can either be a string or object code. The next line is built-in method print. This is the built-in print function that outputs the string Python. Again, this comes from right here. And the last one is the disable method of Python profiler. So this is an internal function call related to C profile modules implementation. It is used to disable the profiler. Now let's take a look how to profile Python code with C profile from terminal. Let's create a simple script that will print Python programming five times. Let's run the code and see what we get. 
perfect. As you can see, Python programming was printed five times. Now, one of the easiest ways to profile your Python code with cProfile is to run cProfile from terminal. Let's start by opening the terminal. As you can see here, we're already in the folder where our Python script is located. So now all we have to do is run python -m cprofile main.py. And as you can see, the result is something similar that you've seen in the previous section for the basic usage. The first we see the output of the code, which prints Python programming five times. And then we see the profiling part. Another way of profiling your Python code with C profile is by using C profile module directly in your Python script. And it's something similar to what we've seen in the basic usage section. First, you will need to import the C profile module into your Python environment and explicitly call the profiling function while passing the Python code as a string into the function as an argument. Now let's run the code and see what we get. In this example, we simplified the code to just one line of printing Python programming. Because as you can see, passing code into cprofile.run as a string is not the most convenient option. There should be a better way of doing this, right? Of course there is. In the next section, we'll explore how to profile Python code using functions and cprofile. In this section, we'll explore how to profile Python functions with C profile in Python. Let's reuse the Python code from one of the previous sections and now place it in a function called my underscore func. Now we can easily run a profiler on this function by passing it into the cprofile.run as an argument. First, we will need to import the required dependency, which is the cprofile module. Now we can run the code profiler. Let's run the code and see what we get. Perfect, we're able to run a code profiler on a Python function that we've just created. In the previous sections, we ran the profiler on the Python code and the results were printed out in terminal. But can we extract and save the profiling data? Yes. Using the built-in pstats module together with cprofile, we can extract and save the profiler results in a simple .txt file. The cprofile.run has a file name argument 
that is set to none by default. Let's now set file name to some sample file name like results and run the code from the previous section. You will notice the output in the terminal is simply what the function is supposed to generate, but there is no profiling report. However, you will now have a new file results created in the directory of the project. We have the file with the profiling report, but we can't open it just yet. Now we will need to convert it into a .txt file using the pstats module, and then the report can be accessed. Let's remove this file for now as it will be regenerated when we rerun the code again. We will need to import an additional dependency, which is the pstats module. Now we'll write some code that will convert the generated results file into a results.txt. Now let's run the code and see what we get. As you can see, the results file and results.txt file were created. So now we have successfully created a .txt file with the profiling report, and it should contain the following data. This is identical to the profiling report that you generated when you simply ran the Python code without exporting the profiling data. In this tutorial, we explored how to profile Python code with C profile module. Code profiling helps identify bottlenecks in the code and helps understand which parts of the code should be optimized for better overall performance. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions. Please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more of my Python programming tutorials.